So there she is. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, the truck is no longer clean. We, uh, <laughs> we just got back from Florida, made a pit stop in Georgia, um, hung out with some friends that are gonna be moving back, which you'll see a lot of that here in the future because they'll bring a lot more content to the channel with side-by-sides and whatnot. But yeah, we took the old mega cab down to, uh, down to Florida. The tunnel cover that I did in the last video, if you guys watched that, the cheapest tunnel cover I could find online, did great. It's not really focusing there and adjusted. But yeah, the old uh, Most Plus tunnel cover did a great job. In today's video, we're gonna be going and picking up my uh, Jeep JKUR. It's uh, unlimited, so it's four door and that's a Rubicon. It's been stored over at my buddy's house for like years. I haven't even seen the thing in a couple years. So today, we're gonna be going and picking it up. So what we are gonna do is hop in the old winter beater and motor this over to his house. The battery's probably completely dead on it. I disconnected it when I dropped it off there, um, but we're probably gonna have to jump it and then motor it back here and finally get it put in the new pole barn. So we got the X3 in here, the winter beater Jeep, and the Mega Cab, the only thing we're missing, well, and the Grom, I guess, but the only thing that we're missing is the Rubicon, and then pretty much all the toys will be in one spot. I'm gonna motor over to my buddy Nick's house, and then we'll go from there. So there she is. I had a trickle charger on it, I guess. Oh frick, maybe <laughs> maybe we didn't undo the battery. Nick had his camper here. He just looks like he hooked up to it. We're gonna have to pull that out of the way to get to it. But uh yeah, this is it. I gotta definitely try to get it running. I guarantee the battery's dead. Alright, so it's early spring here. Grass is like hella soft. Nick's gonna try pulling his truck forward to pull the camper out so we can get enough room to get the green Jeep in to jump start the roof down. All right, we got jumper cables on this thing uh, with old f***ing ditch pickle trying to jump her. The battery on the camera is pretty dead, so it might die. This thing, the lights are on, so that's a good thing. Um, we're going to let it charge up. It won't start, so I'm just going to try to get the battery up some. There was some mice that ate that hat, and it smells terrible in here. But, fingers crossed, that was the only thing they ate. All right, so the other camera died, so I flipped to my phone real quick. The battery in the Jeep, we're pretty sure, is like completely shot. So we're robbing the battery out of Nick's Jeep to get the Rubicon back to my house, and then we'll pull it back out, and then I'll have to just bring Nick back. All right, we swap the battery over. My flash just kicked on for whatever reason. Hopefully this thing will start. Pull this out and I'll check the oil. I guess. <laughs> all right, I got it out. I noticed all the shit in here, so yeah, I figured I'm living in a damn glove box. I have to clean all that shit out when I get home. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna check the oil and motor it back to my house. All right, so we got the Rubicon back here. Um, I think the last clip I showed us robbing the battery out of Nick's TJ to put it into the JK Rubicon so we can at least drive it here. So as you can see, we ripped the battery back out and then I gave him a ride home, the old ditch pickle. But uh, I do have a new battery for this thing. It's in this Jeep. So what I'm gonna do is throw that in and then pull this thing up to the other garage so I can at least vacuum it out. My plan is to completely vacuum it out, take all the crap out of it. And then I think I'm gonna scrub all the carpets. I got some carpet cleaner and stuff in the detailed cabinet. I think what I'm gonna do is just take a, like a drill and then put a brush on it and kind of just scrub everything and do like a full detail on it. I did get some other stuff too. I got one of the mold bombs that I'm gonna let go on this thing. I don't know if there's mold in it, but it smells like musty and mildewy. And I know there's rat pee and inside of here. Um, so I think that will help. It says it cuts down on pretty much all odors. And then another thing I want to do is, which I've seen a lot of people do this, which is probably the cheapest way to clean the vents out, is just take like some Lysol, turn the fans on and just spray it in there so it kind of runs through all the vents and fans and stuff, and then go from there, see how good it does. But what I'm gonna do is pop that battery out, install it in the Rubicon, and then start cleaning this thing.
Figured I'd do a quick recap real quick. Or, Jesus Christ. <laughs> of how this thing sat for a couple of years. Probably, I don't even know whose golf shoes them are. Bottoms are broken on them. Probably just throw them away. I got some Febreze in here. That's nice. We can probably use that. Um, this It smells bad. I wish you could smell it on camera, but like I got this subwoofer back here. I'm going to pull that out so I can clean all this stuff like legit. Bring it around to this side. This is the big thing. I think there's going to be probably a lot of piss and shit. I think that's majority of where the smell is coming from. But I'm going to pull the mats out, vacuum everything, take all the stuff out of here that's been in here for like years that like I haven't used. Lakeside Golf Course. <laughs> anyways, do all that and then get this thing fully cleaned out. And then, like I said, I'm going to try to shampoo or at least, like, scrub the carpets and see what happens. Like, all this stuff in here, like, I haven't touched it in years, so I probably don't need any of it. So we're just going to go through everything. But, uh, yeah, figured I'd do an update before I start pulling stuff out and cleaning it. All right, so I dropped the glove box. This is definitely where the smell's coming from. But look at all the shit that they have, like, stuffed up in here. So... <laughs> Figured it'd be easier instead of pulling everything out of here one by one. I just dropped the whole glove box out. And then I'm going to pull all that shit out and then start vacuuming. <laughs> all right, so I got this thing fully vacuumed out now. Got the glove box out. I'm going to scrub the inside of that. Anything that was in there, I'm going to wipe down just to try to help get the smell out. Um, but, yeah, this thing's fully vacuumed out. It still doesn't smell the greatest, but it smells better than it did. I'm pretty sure the glove box was like the main source of it. Here's in the way back. Got this kind of everything out, vacuumed all out. So what I'm going to do now is I have some of this Chemical Guys fabric cleaner. It's like a citrus thing. supposed to help with uh, pretty much cleaning and deodorizing. What I'm going to do is mix some of that up. It says for normal cleaning. I think it said do, 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 do. a 20 to 1 mixture, which would be way down on the bottom here and then for real dirty stuff it's an eight to one so i'm probably gonna go like ten to one um i just want to get a lot of the smell in it's not super dirty it's just mostly the smell so what i'm gonna do is i have this brush here i got like a kit a long time ago off amazon came with all this stuff and then a bunch more that's in the cabinet and then i'm just gonna put it on um one of these impacts here and then kind of just scrub everything i'm gonna do the seats the carpets and then once i'm done I'll go over the floor mats and scrub all them just in case there's any smell in there. And then I'll let the thing kind of dry out a little bit. I'll probably end up taking like a towel and trying to wipe some of it up, like the dirt and the wetness out of it. And then I got one of these cheap moisture trap things, charcoal filter, which the charcoal and carbon will help against uh, smell. I'm going to put that in there to try to help dry everything all up. And then this is that uh, mold bomb I was telling you about. Got this thing off Amazon, so we'll see how that works and then after everything's said and done still have to go get some lysol but then i'll flip on the vents and everything and just spray it straight in there and let it go through all the vents and then i got that febreze wherever it went right here and i have some like deodorizer it's like fragrance for like the inside of vehicles i'll probably spray some of that in there too and then hopefully all of the smell and stuff's gone. It's wild because I haven't seen this thing in a couple of years, like I mentioned. But this, like, I found some of the most random stuff in here. Like, I got, like, shotgun shells, screwdrivers, a pile of koozies. I probably threw, like, ten of them away. Disc golf stuff. Just a bunch of random crap. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, start uh, mixing this stuff up, and then start scrubbing the carpets. As you can see, it is several hours later. Um, Got the Jeep <clears throat> tucked into the garage now. Uh... I scrubbed the carpets. It actually smells good in here, probably because I have an air freshener. But I scrubbed the uh, I scrubbed the seats um, a couple times, carpets a couple times. I didn't really scrub the back a whole lot. It didn't look like there's much mouse traffic back there. I did get that. Uh, it's like Lysol, um, but it's like a different brand. It was actually cheaper too. But it said kills mold, bacteria, a bunch of other stuff. Use the mold bomb. Sprayed that stuff directly into where the blower opens up to recirculate. Let it recirculate. Um, left the windows up for a while, did that. Think it's good to go. I'm hoping it's good. It doesn't smell right now. It actually smells way better than it did before I even parked it. But uh, I put some <laughs> air fresheners in, got a new air freshener there. And then that Febreze I found, I sprayed everything. But hopefully we're good to go. My plan was to wash the outside of this thing today, but took a little bit longer than I anticipated. Plus we had some other stuff going on, had some family stop by. But uh, 
Yeah, got it tucked into the pole barn. It's sweet, finally seen it in here with the rest of the toys. That's kind of why I built this thing, is so I can get everything into one location. Just gotta finish the building off now. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. Till next time, guys, I'm out.